In this video, we're going to look at how to create a social media flyer for Eid Mubarak, and this is coming up. Assalamu alaikum, everyone, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. So here are the resources that we are going to use in this tutorial i'll leave a link in the description if you want to download any of them couple up with the fonts that i'm going to use in this video so check the description if you want to find a link to download this and if you're able to practice this be sure to send it to me on instagram and let's get connected now let's get into photoshop and let's get started now since this is going to be a social media flyer we're going to use four by four inches so you go to file new or Control N and then you can just create a four by four inch here. So you make sure your dimensions are set to inches and then you can set four by four here and then you go ahead and you click on create. I'm using Photoshop 2021, but it should work with any version that you are using. First things first, let's establish the background. So we are going to basically start with a gradient so you go to the create new fill over here you click on it and then you choose gradient now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the gradient bar over here and then you can navigate through the gradient that you've already set or if you want to set a new one so the one that we're going to use for this particular tutorial will be this particular gradient over here let me show you the coordinates so this is going to be the first one and this is going to be the second one this right over here okay so once you've gotten this what you're going to do is you go ahead and then you click ok we are using this as the basic or the base color later on we can use the camera or filter or the hue and saturation to change the colors instantly so what we're going to do from here is we're going to change this to radial and then we are going to reverse the color right over here and then we can use the mouse and drag this up here a little bit like that and we can scale it up a little bit as well so you can scale it up something not so much so something like that so that it's kind of blends in there so let's go around 120 here and then we can go ahead and click ok now the next thing we bring in here will be this mosque picture that i got from the internet so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop now what i'm going to do is i'm going to position it underneath here so i'll drag it somewhere around here and then i'll make sure that i scale it up i don't want the part underneath of it so i'm just going to scale it up so somewhere like this and it looks good so we can bring it down a little bit something like that which looks very fine and then we can right click on this and go to rasterize layer you can just go to the blending options right over here and then you can add what we call the color overlay so the color overlay is going to basically change the color instantly but in this case we want to make sure that the gradient blends through the entire project so we are going to apply a gradient overlay so we left click on the gradient here and then what we are going to do is we are going to apply the same gradient that we applied to this one but this time around we are going to make sure that it is linear so we pick this one click ok and then we leave it linear over here you can just basically set it to 90 percent and from there we can just go ahead and click ok now we are good with these two and because we are doing this for the Eid al adha i hope i pronounced it well please if i don't kindly forgive me we are going to make use of this goat that i downloaded so this is from shutterstock and it's not the paid one so that is why they have their website over there so we are just basically going to crop the website out here and then we are going to make sure that we turn off this one or we unlock it and we are going to choose what we call the magic one to to get rid of the background so once you select it left click and select you go ahead and hit on delete now once that is done you can just press ctrl d to deselect it and then you can use your move tool and then send it into the project that you are working on in now once this one is here you press ctrl t and then you can transform it to the size that you want and then i can right click and then flip this one horizontally so it basically changes the position so i can open him up a little bit and make sure that he's centered 
and then i'll double click on it now let's open this up a little bit somewhere like this we're going to get rid of the leg so don't worry about that so to get rid of the leg you can basically go two ways you can add a liam mask to this and then you choose your brush tool which you have to make sure that the hardness is set to zero and then you can brush it off to something like that or basically you can just go for the gradient if you want to use that so I just wanted something like this but this doesn't really look good and that is when the second approach comes in when you add your layer mask like this you can go for the gradients over here and then you make sure that you go for the basics this particular color or this particular gradient that has the transparency over here now you select the color at the very left end and then you are going to set that to black you click ok you make sure that the layer mask is selected and then you can draw from the very bottom here and then you see that it blends it smoothly so something like that perfectly right so that means that we can still go ahead and just sort of open this up a little bit and then we can leave this one over here now we're going to set this to let's play around with this one so we go for something like soft light and soft light looks good so i'm just going to leave this one right over here the next thing that i want to do is i want to make a duplicate of the mask over here so Control j and then i can drag it up here now i'll press Control t to transform this up a little bit like that and then i can bring it over here so we want it to reflect in the gold okay so somewhere around here now i want to send it on top of the gold so right on top here i right click on the gold and i'm going to convert it to a smart object right click again and rasterize it this is because we want to create a clipping mask and if your layer has a layer mask it is not going to be allowed to create the clipping mask so you right click and go to create clipping mask and this is going to reflect inside of the animal so something like that i think it's quite okay now if you apply the camera raw filter at the very end of the project you're going to see this one very well now we can go ahead and add a test as a disclaimer i am not a muslim and i don't understand arabic but then i decided to get some arabic font so if by any chance or if by any means i write something that i'm not supposed to write i don't know how the arabic test connect so if i write anything that is not what it's supposed to mean please pardon me so to do the test you just go for the test tool and then i got some arabic test as i mentioned earlier so the first one that we can try let me just increase this up a little bit so the first test that we can try is called the ams calligraphy and regular so let me type happy over here and then i can bring it right over there so you see here it says that happy but then it has written in i don't know whether this is arabic or yeah but then it has written this for us and then the next font that we can try one the other one that i got is also called nook let me check if yes so it's called nook Helis. i'll put a link in the description if you want to download any of these fonts so we are going to use that to write the happy eid so right over here is eid al adha so something like that okay so i got another font also let's try that one as well so let's select this one it is called arabic it is called arabic greetings and this is how it also shows right so i think that one looks more if you even type one letter this is how it sort of shows so i don't really understand it so i'm just going to get rid of this one and then we make use of this one again i don't really understand arabic so i don't really know whether this is what it's supposed to mean so if i make any mistake pardon me so basically what i've written here is supposed to read happy eid al adha basically okay so i'm just going to position them and i can group these ones and they are going to be my test so you can press ctrl t and then transform it a little bit like that and position it right over here so the next set of things that we can do to this one is we're going to add some sort of element that is going to turn the whole mood of this design so i got this lantern from free pick and i'm going to drag it inside of photoshop now i'm going to position that over here right over there like that 
and then i can double click on it basically right now we want to apply some sort of lighting in here so that it can sort of brighten around the lantern okay so what we can do is underneath of the lantern we can go for something like the pen tool so i can go for the pen tool and make sure that i have the shape selected and then i can start from here do something very simple something very basic so i'm creating some sort of light over there right like that so i'll create something like this and then i'll just leave it so it's now a shape we can basically give it any color if you double click on the layer thumbnail but we want to apply something different so let's right click on it and go to the blending mode over here let me go up the blending options and then we are going to apply a gradient on it so i've already set that gradient as well it is a lighting gradient so you can go for this one or this one i think this one looks good okay and then we can click ok and what we're going to do again is we're going to add an auto glow to it so it is going to glow and we double click on the color here you can pick a color from somewhere around here so something that glows it up a little bit which makes it look like a lantern that is lighted okay so something like that now this isn't looking better for me so let's try something else let's try the other gradient option and let's see how it actually looks like so like that's one over here and let's pick this one click ok now let's change this to radial and yes that is exactly what i'm looking for right over there so you can drag this over here a little bit and then i can go back to the outer glow and we can pick something like this one yes i think this looks good and you can click ok and then ok from here so basically that will be it for the lantern and we are going to group these two and then we can name it lantern okay so lantern over here now what we're going to do is we're going to make duplicates and spread it on top of the flyer so ctrl j to duplicate it and then we can bring it over here so something simple so we select the two of these ones we duplicate it and then we can drag it right over here as well but this time around we would have to flip it horizontally so something like that so it looks good from here and then the next thing i want to do is i want to add some sort of lighting in here as well so i'll go back to my mosque underneath of the mosque so right over here i want to create a very simple light as well so that i can easily go for the rectangle too because here it looks like a rectangle so i'll create a rectangle here and then i'm going to leave it like that i right click and go to the blending options and i'm going to add a light into it and that will be the gradient so we can add something like this one and then we click ok and then we can make a duplicate of this rectangle so ctrl j and then we will drag it to this side so it brightens and shines over there now we push it to this side and we are good the last thing that we're going to add will be this stars over here so i got that also from google so i'll drag and drop it on top of the entire layer open it up like that and then i'll position it right over here now right click rasterize go to the blend mode and i'm going to set this to screen so basically it is going to remove all the blacks in it leaving only the stars it's very simple right finally i can go back to my test tool and add this test or this code uh, this wish that i got from the internet thanks to google so i'll add that to the very bottom over here so i'm going to select any test but this one we can't write in arabic so we're going to write in a very simple plain english and poppins will do that job for us so i'm going to paste that over here and then i'm going to reduce the size a little bit something like that i'm going to change the color to white click ok i press ctrl a and then center it like this and basically we're done with the whole flyer design but then to make this pop up a little bit i decided to add some camera raw filter to this so what we're going to do is we're going to compress the whole flyer over here so you press ctrl shift alt and then e and then it is going to make or merge the entire document for you now you go to filter camera raw filter and then it is going to open the camera raw 
for you and once the camera raw is open you can just play around with the temperature and then the tint so basically it gives you a whole different type of colors that you can play around with and the tint over here also gives you different type of colors so you can just play around with any one of them that works best for you let's try to take it to the very this very side and see what we have and let's increase our temperature a little bit so i think this color looks very good now we can drag this one here a little bit as well i think this looks good what do you think let me know in the comment section what you think starting from here dragging to the very right side and to this very point let me know what you think now once you get the exact one that you want you can go ahead and click ok now to even make it more popping let's try and add some saturation to it so let's set this to about 30 and let's see how it goes boom and it makes it pop a lot so you realize that we move from just this one to this one with a camera raw filter the only disadvantage to this is that anytime you want to make changes you'd have to affect the changes here before you merge everything together again and then you reapply the camera raw filter that is sort of tedious but basically it's worth the time and that is how you create a very simple social media wish flyer or social media post flyer for it at her i wish everyone a happy eid at her i pray that allah will bless us and take us to a higher height i hope you gained value out of this and if you did subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye